welcome to Right Decisions. I'm Tammy Moore Johnson, your host. It is indeed my pleasure to come in your homes weekly with a show that's designed to give you tools and strategies for success. Every week we talk about practical topics such as relationships, health, stress, finance, and give you strategies to be successful. We've also talked about making Jesus Lord of your life. Well, I was compelled to bring this topic to you today. Today we're talking about the biggest, most important decision that you will ever make in your lifetime. What if I told you that you only had three days to live? Would you make sure that your relationship is right with Christ? Well, I would not put off for tomorrow what you can do today. My guest, Pastor David Jones, had an open vision of the day of the Lord, that is, when the Lord's return. He has been given the, the charge to minister warning. Please know in Acts 2.17, the Bible speaks of visions. Our God is a spirit and he does do things supernaturally, such as dreams and visions. Welcome, Pastor David, to Right Decisions. Thank you for having me. I am so honored to have you because you have a powerful ministry. God bless you. God bless talk, you. you talk about this vision that God gave you February 2012, I think that was the second time. It was the second vision, yes. Can, can you let us share about that, please? Well, <clears throat> uh, I got up to use the restroom that night and I came back to get in the bed and it was like someone just grabbed me by the arm and shook me and instantly I was catapulted into an open vision and I was just hovering over the earth about 200 feet in the air and I can see all humanity just going to and fro in the earth, a beautiful uh, blue sky, sunny day and people going to their jobs, businessmen into the buildings, uh, uh, mothers with their children going into the malls, people pumping gas, doing their daily activities. And all of a sudden, there came a sound from heaven as like seven claps of thunder all uttered into one, a sound that was so deafening to all mankind, not only did it pierce their ears, but it pierced their skeletons that their bodies began to quake and shake under this sound and they began to scream People just begin to run, screaming. All of a sudden, it's like someone took a razor blade and split the heavens right down through the middle. Then here come the glory and the majesty of the living God. All the beautiful colors were just supernatural. The blues, the golds, the reds, the orange, mm -hmm. the greens were supernatural, not like colors here on earth. And people getting to run to and fro and screaming and hollering. But here come the Son of Man coming from the heavens. And Tammy, he was coming speedily to the earth that it took all humanity off guard because he said, I'm coming at an hour and at a time when man least expected. Mm -hmm. And if he said, I'm coming at an hour and a time when man least expected, Tammy is going to be at an hour and a time when all mankind least expected. People begin to scream and run and he was coming so speedily with all his bands of angels, mm -hmm. people hollering in such terror. And all, at the same time, God was allowing me to sense what they were feeling, what they were going through total helplessness, mm. hopelessness, a terror like we have never known of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we know from the scripture that God is love and he's yes, mercy yes. and he's compassionate and he's long suffering and he wished that none should perish but all come into repentance. But there's another side of God and this was my instructions from the Lord himself. He said, you tell them, yes, I am a God of love and a God of mercy and a God of compassion, but I'm also a God of justice mm -hmm. and I'm also a God of judgment and his judgment had came that day. All of a sudden, people just running and screaming. Then one man, he was seeing what was happening. Oh yeah, and the people began to urinate on themselves mm. in total fear. And he began to say, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I thought I had time. I thought I had time. But time had ran out for all humanity. Then another man said, a little short ending guy, he was like, no, 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 this is a dream. This is a dream. I'm going to wake up. But Tammy, he couldn't wake up because mm. he was already woke. The Lord Jesus Christ took the whole world unaware, unexpectedly. People were just screaming and hollering. Then I hear a voice from heaven saying, this is the day of the Lord. It has come. And then I came out of the vision, shaking and quaking. Now, Tammy, I'm a former Marine, mm -hmm, trained mm -hmm. to fight, hand-to-hand -hand combat, got medals of honor, and I always considered myself a tough guy. But the Lord shook me to the cores of my very soul. Never have I been shooken like this. There is a side of God that mankind have not been introduced to and is called the terror mm. of the Lord. When Jesus came the first time, he came as the son of God. Mm -hmm. He came to save the world. 
when he come this time, he's coming to judge the world with wrath. And, I, and when I came out, I was shaking and quaking. Uh, Tammy, I didn't pray for my wife, my mother, my <laughs> kid. I started praying for me. Mm. I said, please, Lord, please have mm. mercy on my soul. Amen. Because I sensed what they were feeling, mm -hmm. total hopelessness. And this, now this was the kicker. Everybody knew this was God. No wow. one was saying, these are aliens. Mm -mm. Mm. Everybody <laughs> knew this was the mm. almighty God. And I began to repent. I said, Lord, if I offended you or hurt you in any way, please forgive me. Please allow me to be counted worthy to go back with you. For I have seen the terror of the Lord. Then I prayed for my wife, my children, my mother, my siblings. Then I prayed for them. Then I heard the Lord say this to me. I charge you now to warn all mankind that I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Whether they believe you or not, whether they receive you or not, give them warning. Amen from me. When God called me to the ministry, he woke me up at three o'clock and five o'clock in the morning. And he said, go to the book of Ezekiel, begin at the third chapter, begin at the 14th verse. I begin to read and it said, son of man, I have made you a watchman unto the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. When I say unto the wicked, thou shall surely die and thou givest him not warning nor to warn him from his wicked way. That same wicked man shall die in his sin, but his blood will I require thy hand. Again, when a righteous man turn from his righteousness and begin to commit iniquity and I lay a stumbling block before him, if he is not warned, he shall die in his sin. I was like, oh my my God, what a great responsibility. And the Lord said, I charge you now to warn all mankind that I'm coming and I'm coming and I'm coming soon. And I said this to the Lord, I say, who am I? I'm just a hunk of flesh. Who am I? He said, I called you from your mother's womb and ordained you to be an end time preacher. And he's worded it like this. This is the last call. Revival. This is the last call. Revival for all humanity. He loves us so much that he gives us warning. Mm -hmm. He loves us so much. This is the hand of God's mercy reaching out to all humanity. I'm warning you before I come. Mm -hmm. Noah preached 120 years. It's going to rain. But they didn't believe that preacher. They turned a deaf ear. And all of a sudden God said, come now, Noah, you and your family. And to the ark, Tammy, eight souls out of all the people on the face of the mm, planet. Mm, mm, mm. Eight souls, but one man choose, chose to obey God. Mm -hmm. And the Bible say, and the hand of the Lord shut them in the ark. Meaning no one could get out, no one could get in. Mm. And it represented two things, safety and closure. Mm, mm, mm. Tammy, the animals obeyed God, but mankind wouldn't. Mm, 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 mm. And it's called the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. That, that was the second vision. That was the second vision. Yes, ma'am. And he gave you that again in 2012. Gave it again. And, and the, the fulfillment. Open, the, say again, I'm sorry. It was a two part. One, when I was 17 years old, the day of the Lord. And when I, in 2012, he gave me the fullness of it because I didn't understand about visions even then at 17. So it, the, the vision, the open vision is basically you're, what, you're, you're in it. In it. You're in it. You Watching feel it, it. Everything. Sensing it. Mm. Seeing the horror and the terror. And, and, and the people just screaming and running, but there was no hiding place. There was, and, and even before he came, there was such darkness and thick clouds. And it speaks of that in Joel. I didn't know I listened to, I read the book of Joel, mm -hmm. the second chapter where it says, blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm in my holy mountain. That's what I'm doing right now on Amen. this television show. Amen. You think that the Lord gave you that vision in 2012 because, like you said, you were an end-time minister. Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> now we're getting closer to the end time. Yes, very close. Mm. Very close. Jesus say, when you see all these things, look up for your redemption, Jordan and I. Mm, mm. Men's hearts shall fail them of fear because of the things that's coming upon the earth. And the scripture say, in the last days, many shall be offended. That's why we have to watch out for the spirit of offense. Mm -hmm. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And we, you know, people have been hating and being in, in offense for years, but now it's at a high, on, on time oh, yeah. high yeah. and it's more frequent and it's more intense. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, when the Lord woke me up, he woke me up. Yes. But I saw you on TV. <laughs> wow, praise God. <laughs> and you were on Sid Roth is Supernatural. Yes, ma'am. And I was just compelled to have you come and be here on the show. Yes. And the Lord said, search him out. And when I searched, I found out, oh, my goodness, he's relatively close. 
Yes. So I knew that he wanted you to be here to tell our viewers, my faithful viewers, hey, don't take this lightly. Yes. He is coming back. That's right. In fact, um, when I started the show a couple years, a, a year ago, well, actually in the spring, the Lord told me to say that at the end of my show. And I say that at the end of the show, and I say it twice because he said he's coming back. Yes. And I don't know, what do you think it's going to take for people to understand how serious this is? You know, that's a good question. The Lord said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's why God is requiring every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher to proclaim the truth because the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Only the truth that you know. That's why the preachers, God hold them at a higher standard because they holding up the bloodstained mm. banner. They standing in the gap. He say, cry loud. Show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob, their sins. God is counting on the preacher because he say, how should they hear without a preacher? And how shall he uh, preach except he be sent? Mm -hmm. And God sent me to warn all mankind. And I'm so honored that you have me on the shore because now I get to do it again. Mm -hmm. I get the opportunity. And the Lord told me this, it's not your responsibility to convince them, mm -hmm. but it is your responsibility whew, to warn them. So that's a mighty charge. Yes, and but, I don't take it lightly. And the Father's given us all the ministry of reconciliation yes, with Him. Yes. But you have a different one. And that's kind of prophetic, yes, isn't yes. it? Yes, it to is. Be, to, to have that vision and to be able to, to tell people that what you saw. Mind-boggling. Mm. Uh, uh, after I came out of vision, I was invited to come preach a week revival. Mm -hmm. Ended up preaching 21 days straight, mm -hmm. twice on Sunday. The first night I begin to preach, people begin to wail and scream. Football players, teenagers, adults, women start running to the altar. Even the pastor and his wife fell on their face and say, God, have mercy on our souls. Mm. Spare us, O King. Children come getting baptized in the Holy Spirit. Mm. The Amen. power of God just moving. People getting healed in their seat. But it's one thing to be healed in your body and go back and sin. It's another thing to be supernaturally changed and born Amen. again and accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So when we come back, we got to take a break. When we come back, I want to pick up right there the difference between being born again and yes, knowing yes. the Lord Jesus Christ. We'll mm -hmm. be right back. For a difference in quality of hair care, contact Erica Blanks, professional stylist at Aspiring Trends Hair Salon, 803-917-0668. Contact Erica and receive $10 off your first service. When either buying or selling a home, select the right real estate agent, Michelle Ingwall, a person you can trust and one who will understand what you need. Contact Michelle Ingwall at 803-633-633. 5115. Welcome back to Right Decisions. Today we're talking about the biggest decision that you can make. Pastor David from Little David Ministries, you, before we left for break, you were talking about the revival that you did yes. right after you received the open vision the second time. Yes. Can you, and you said those are different. Can you elaborate what you were talking about that? Well, about in, that? In, in my ministry, we see signs and wonders and miracles and healings, blind eyes open, the deaf hear, the lame walk. But it's one thing to get your body healed mm -hmm. and not be healed spiritually. Mm. The Bible says, what profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul, or what will a man give in exchange mm -hmm. for his soul? What, ooh, what, what's more important to you than your soul? Amen. It's going to spend eternity somewhere, and you're not going to miss hell or heaven. Mm. You're either going to go to one or the other. So the main thing is what some people say, well, God is grace. He, yes, God is grace, he, and, and he loves Justice. us, mm -hmm. but the Bible says don't frustrate the grace of God. Mm. The, if you want a toy, go, go to Walmart, but can't play with God because he's real, and he means what he says, and he says what he means. Right, because we're in the grace disposition oh, now. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. you know, we have the love, and, we're, and it's all good, but like you said, there's another side of there's God. There's another side of God. That's and, that just God that yes. can't look upon sin. Yes. And so right now he's holding back and he's giving people time yes. to receive of him. Yes. Mm. And, and, and God just wants us to come and repent. Repent means a change of mind and action. I change my way of thinking and I change my way of acting. I go another way. We had an uh, evangelist come to one of our revival meetings and he was backslidden. And, and I, I preached on the day of the Lord. The altar was full. 
-hmm. everybody in the church, the deacons, the pastors, <laughs> the elders, everybody on their face. Amen. I've, I've just never seen such conviction. Mm -hmm. And he was there. But after church, he, he, he left with another pastor and he was saying, my God, man, <laughs> Pastor David scared the hell out of me with that message. <laughs> and he began to preach again. Wow. Do revivals again. Mm. Eight months later, Tammy, he died. Mm, 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 mm. So you don't even know when the death angel coming from you. Amen. That's why we should live each day as though it's, it's our last, last day. day. You know, and, and sometimes I think when people get older, like 65, 70, they know there's not too many hundred years yes. old rocking around. So they might start to think about, mm, mm -hmm. you know, I know there's a creator, you know, that guy has, has to be a God with this. But when they're younger, that's what can get them. They think they got plenty of plenty time. Of time but they don't know when Christ is returning. Listen, the Bible said, remember your creator in the days of, of your, your youth, youth. Amen. because the evil days are drawing nigher. I was ministering on a Wednesday night. I never done this before and haven't done this since. I stopped and said to the audience, there's someone in this church, hear me, this is your last call from God. After this night, the Lord Jesus Christ will not ever come to you again. Mm. This is your last call from God. He's calling you tonight. Mm. He's calling you tonight. Answer the call of God. It was a beautiful Spanish uh, uh, young lady, mm -hmm. maybe about 17, hair down here, mm -hmm. jumped up and ran to the altar screaming, it's me, it's me, I'm a backslider, I want to come back home. She came and rededicated her life, Tammy, on a Wednesday. That Friday, she was killed in a car accident. Mm. Warning mm -hmm. always comes before destruction. Have mercy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This thing is serious, more serious than what we realize. And God is holding us. Uh, he's given me a charge, but all those that saying I'm a preacher of the gospel, God has given them the charge to tell the people the truth. If you love them, tell them the truth, for the truth will make them free. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come to church and they're bound and they don't know how to get free. God is holding that preacher to preach the uncompromised truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the break the yoke off the people and the minds of the people. Come, some people don't need a physical healing, they need a mental Amen. healing. Amen. And you're out there in the audience right now and God is speaking to your heart. He's saying, come unto me, all ye heavy laden, mm. and I will give you rest. My yoke is easy and my burdens are light. Come, son, come, my daughter. I love you with an everlasting love. Mm. Mm. Amen, amen, because Thank you Jesus. know, God loves us. Yes. That's why he took a part of himself. He died on the cross. Yes, gave his son. Yes, That's his, only son. his only son, not which like is a part like of six him. Of them, exactly. seven of them. Mm. And he gave up the ghost and said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's, that's exactly Some that's people don't know their left hand from their right hand right now, but Jesus is calling them through this program. Some, some people, this is your last chance, and you know who I'm talking about. He's waiting. We used to sing a song, somebody's knocking at your door. Mm -hmm. Somebody's knocking at your door. Oh, sinner, why don't you answer? Somebody's knocking at your door. Sounds like Jesus knocking at your door. Sounds like Jesus knocking at your door. Oh, sinner, why don't you answer? Somebody's knocking at your door, the door of your heart. Will you let him come in today? Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Do you think is that is just the veils? What is keeping people to realize that it can happen any minute? That n not just Christ returning, but they may expire. Yes. yes. What is it? Just that they're blinded? Is it just do? You uh, according to the Holy Scripture, the Bible say, "If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost." because the God of this world has blinded their minds of them, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ should shine unto them. But everybody, Tammy, everybody gonna have a right to the tree of life. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a chance to reject the Lord Jesus Christ or to receive him into your life. Everybody will have a right to the tree of life. And we need to emphasize the God of this world is Satan. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Yes. That's, that's yes. who's blinded yes. their eyes. Yes, and in and, and, and the vision, the man said, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I thought I had time. I thought I had more time, but all time ran out. And you can't say, well, Lord, please give me another chance. Let me go back. I'll do it right. Too late. Tammy, if the rich man could come back from hell, 
he would do it all over again. Mm -hmm. The Bible say he, he fared sumptuously every day and he wore purple and he was rich and they laid a, a beggar at his gate that he was full of sores and the dogs came and licked his sores and he would beg just for the crumbs off his table. And the man, the Bible said he wouldn't answer or respond to the man, didn't help the man and the rich man died. And when he lifted up his eyes, he was tormented in flames. Mm. But when the beggar died, he was in the bo bosom of Abraham and the rich man seen Abraham, uh, he seen the beggar in, in Abraham's bosom and he said, Father Abraham, have Lazarus, that was the beggar name, come and dip his finger in a cup of water and put it in my tongue because I'm tormented in his flames. And Abraham said, we cannot come to you because there is a great gulf fix between you and I. He said, but go back and tell my brothers, don't come to this place. Mm -hmm. he, he said, surely if one come from the dead, they will believe him. He said, even if one come from the dead, they wouldn't believe him. If the rich man could come back and do it all over again, Tammy, mm -hmm. he would do it all over again. But it was too late. That's why the warning always comes first. But the Lord say, whom shall I send? Whom would go for me? And I'm saying right now, here am I, Lord. Send me. Amen. I'll go. And that should be all of Love our us. answers. Here am I, Lord. Send me. You might not be a preacher, but you have a testimony. Amen. Amen. What God has done in your life. Mm-hmm. Because once you have that relationship with Christ yes. and you experience his yes. love, you want to share that yes. with others. Yes. Because we know that Christ loves all his creation. Even alcoholics. He, yes, yes. Even drunkards like I was. Yeah. <laughs> when I didn't get a drink, my hand would tremble and shake. I was addicted to crack cocaine, mescaline, TAC, acid. I was a mess. My mother was always thinking she was going to get a phone call. We found your son dead in a ditch, mm, mm, mm. wrecked his car, killed himself. But because of his mercy his and his mercy. goodness, mm -hmm. he saved me. I went to a church meeting yes, one night yes, yes. and my heart wasn't right. And I heard the preacher preaching and he said, come. The Lord said, come unto me, all you heavy laden. And I got up to walk to the altar and my legs started trembling. And I heard the devil himself saying, get out of this church. Run out of here. And I wouldn't because I wanted to be saved. That's mm -hmm. why the Bible says, save yourself. When I got to the preacher and he was standing in the pulpit, he said, son, you want to be saved? I said, yes, sir. I grabbed his hand. The power of God knocked me straight back. And there wasn't no ushers back there to let me down easy time. <laughs> and I hit that floor, but it was like falling on a bed of cotton. Mm -hmm. Then the supernatural began. Mm -hmm. And it went in my chest and got in my throat. And then my tongue began to cleave to the roof of my mouth. And I began to hear myself speak in a heavenly language as the spirit of God give others. Now, all of a sudden, I begin to experience such Peace. Yes, 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 yes. Such joy that I have never experienced before in my entire born days. And ever since that day, I've been running for my life. Amen. Because Jesus saved me. He took that stony heart out and he gave me a heart of flesh. Now I can love. Now I can forgive mm -hmm. and forget. And see, what, what happened was your spirit, God's spirit came within your yes. spirit. Yes, yes. And that's part of it. And I, talk a little bit about the supernatural. People realizing that hey, we have a spirit that's within us. Yes. And that, like you said, when we die, it's either going to go to hell or heaven. <clears throat> and hell wasn't made for us. It was made for those demons. Can you talk that's about right. those two things? Hell was made for the devil and his angels. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that thou teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus got right to the point. He said, Nicodemus, except you be born again, you won't even see the kingdom of heaven. He said, how can a man be born yeah, yeah, again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Must he enter into his mother's womb the second time be born again? He said, marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listens, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whether it cometh or whether it goeth. So is everyone that was born of the Spirit. When the Spirit of God comes into our mortal flesh, He gives us power. Mm. He gives us authority to overcome alcohol Yes, yes, like yes, he did yes. me, mescaline, crack mm, cocaine. Thank you, Lord. And, and he, look, Kathy, he took, the, I mean, Tammy, <laughs> took the taste right out of my mouth. Mm, that's spirit, that's I was supernatural. I instantly right delivered. <laughs> I was instantly delivered. We have a God that can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can even ask to think because he that kind of God. Amen, amen. Mm. Man, I think I'm getting a little excited. Yes, because of his goodness. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And yes. his love. Yes. yes. And he say, make known my deeds among the people. Tell of my goodness. Tell of my wonderful works to the children of men. Now, you're telling some of God's goodness in a book you just recently released, yes, right? Which yes. is about the coming of the Lord. It's the vision, yes. T tell us the title of that and how we can <clears> be <throat> able to get that. The title of the book is, They Thought They Had More Time. Subtitle, I Saw the mm. Day of the Lord. They can purchase the book at 
uh, Little David Ministries. Yes, yes, dot yes. Org. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's more about what you're seeing here now. More about the, uh, the spirit of God, the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. I deal with the grace message. Mm, okay. I deal with you must be born again. Yes, it's yes. mandatory. Yes, you just yes. can't sign the church roll. You just can't shake the preacher's hand. You must be born again. And I think people, I just want to emphasize the fact that God loves them so much. Yes. And it's going to really, I mean, he's going to be hurting at the time, but he has the other side. He can't he has go against just his word. Side. That's yes. him. It's a part of him. He's loving, and we have that peace now, but there's a just side. Yes, there's a just side. I remember growing up, m uh, my mother would tell us to do something, and we wouldn't do it. Yes. She said, all right. I'm telling you for the last time. <laughs> we Oh, we better, we better hurry up. We better do what's right, because we knew. It was another side of mama yes, that we didn't yes, want to experience. Yes. Well, I, I can't believe time is up. It's been so wonderful having you yes. on the set. Thank you. Sharing, warning, warning the viewers and yes. warning everybody. Yes. Because we want them to know Christ yes. as their personal Lord and Savior. Yes. Thank you so much for, for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Through our discussion today, it has been our objective to warn you of the soon return of the Lord. He loves you so much that he gave his own life to save you. He loves you so much that the thought of you not returning to him in heaven causes him that painful sorrow. The Bible speaks of him shedding tears for the souls that will not return to him. We cannot begin to emphasize with what the Lord will feel at that time. I can imagine that it's what we feel when we lose a loved one, but magnified because he is our creator. Let's not grieve the Lord for he is coming back. Will you know him when he returns? If you do not know him as your Lord and personal savior, I encourage you to do so right now. Just simply believe in your heart that Jesus died for your sins and confess out loud, Jesus is your Lord and savior. Now when he returns, you'll be able to go with him for he is coming back. Thank you for tuning in to Right Decision, a show with a positive message. If you'd like to contact me, email me at tools to make right decisions at gmail.com. We will see you next week. Goodbye for now.